What's going on everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today we are continuing the 670cc go-kart build. It's going to be insane. Ike thinks it'll outperform a Corvette to 40 miles an hour. And we're hoping to put that to the test once we get it together. But today uh, we are going to be unboxing some parts we got in the mail and modifying the frame to get it to fit the engine. This build would not be possible without Go Power Sports and Cars Amino. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community that you can download on your Android or iOS device, and it's a place where you can escape the uh, baby photos from your other social media places or political garbage, stuff you don't want to be seeing, stuff that probably really isn't healthy. It just makes people worry, you know? Depressed. Yeah. We want happy stuff. Like we want happy stuff. Car stuff. Like V Go twins. kart stuff. <laughs> v twins. 80 mile an hour go-kart. Hey, doggy! <laughs> We're gonna be posting exclusive content uh, on our Cars Amino page. That would be Cars Amino, username Cars and Cameras. Uh, we're gonna be posting some photos. We're gonna be posting some blogs. We're gonna be asking your opinions for a few things through the use of polls. Um, and we're gonna be doing a sticker and t-shirt giveaway at the end of the build. But anyway, these boxes right here contain uh, a care package from our friends at Go Power Sports. Thank you, Go Power Sports. There's a link to Go Power Sports in the description, as well as all the parts that we uh, have here. In here, we have some parts uh, to help us revamp that go-kart chassis. Uh, it's in rough shape right now. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna put some paint on it. We're gonna be asking your opinion on uh, Cars Amino for what color we should paint this thing. Uh, I set up a poll, and you guys go vote. What do we have in here? Bubbles! Bubbles! Okay. Bubbles! Are you kidding? What is that? It's a seat. Is that gonna fit? Let's see. It fits, kind of. Oh no, it fits real Dude, really it nice. fits real nice. Wow, it already looks like a nicer go-kart. I, I feel like I'm in a clown car. I feel like I mean, I'm in a spaceship. This thing's so small, man. It is very small. <laughs> and that engine is so big. Anyway, let's keep going with these parts. Here, my turn. Oh, okay, <laughs> we, we're taking turns. More bubble wrap. Awesome. Oh man. What in the world? Tire tubes? Tire tubes. And uh, a split hub? Nope. Oh, so nope. That's, that's for hub. a sprocket. Yeah. For a split sprocket, I'm assuming. No. 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 It'll be fine. There's another tube in there. Anyway. Sweet. What is this? A hat? I think it's a hat, man. I'm the Goodyear baby all grown up. We're good. <laughs> hey, remember when you dropped the torque converter? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> We're not talking that's about that. Wait, oh, this might be... Oh, that's a crutch. Oh, a clutch? Yeah, that's the that's heavy a, duty... That is a large clutch. And there's I'm some not, half links and which we need. whole links for a 420 chain. Because, yes, sir. Yeah, that puppy ain't gonna handle no 35 chain. Yeah, that's a big clutch. Yes, sir. Looks nice. Sprockets. Dual sprockets? Oh, baby. Daggum. So this, the bigger one, is the one that's on Taylor's $50 go-kart, I think, because 60 tooth. Yep. That one is smaller. <laughs> this oh. Man, that puppy gonna haul. That sounds familiar. That sounds like uh, Taylor's clutch. Or not clutch, but the uh, brake. Yep. Disc brake. That's what I, it I is. I can tell what the, the clanging is. The clanging Clanking. of brakes. Clanking. Clanking of brakes. Oh. Sweet. Look at that nice tire. It's a slick. Yes, sir. She gonna do some burnouts. They know <laughs> that we like slicks because they don't tear up the grass like the... Like those. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And we have one more front tire. Sweet. And one more... Oh, no, you already grabbed your thing out of it. It's my go. Oh, that's about it. be fine. How about let's grab it together, man? Oh, man. <laughs> More stickers. Stickers, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh boy. This might just be our uh, death sentence, Ike. What? What is, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh man, that's not fair. I should have gotten that. That's a <laughs> torque of burger. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is, this is going to be ridiculous. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big torque converters for big engines, folks. Yeah. Link to this in the description as well, everybody. 
Right, as well as those wheels, those tires, all the other stuff you see here. Links in the description. Got a motor mount, man. Motor mount. We're gonna need that. Hardware for oh, the torque converter. That's for, yeah, that's for, yeah. Yeah, we got the belt, belt and we got this. More uh, hardware. The, the or, other, other yeah, the other sprocket or pulley. We're gonna get going. Who doggy? As you can see, we have tires, more tires, wheels, tubes, sprockets, torque converter, seat, seat, brakes, disc brake, centrifugal clutch, engine mount, uh, a ratty go kart and a 670 cc v-twin predator engine 22 horsepower 31 foot pounds bone stock right there it'll be fine real tempted to just relocate the sprocket and stuff on this one put if, it in the middle if we if we have it's going to move it actually over the opposite way the torque converter it's just it's just gonna be insane it's either gonna do burnouts or wheelies all day my biggest concern personally is getting the front wheels to actually turn the thing so you know what we really need to choose now what we're gonna use the clutch or the torque converter i mean i think we both know the answer to that question torque converter. yeah looks like we're gonna lengthen the cart the, uh, we can make that work, but uh, it, it's putting a lot of weight behind the axle, which means this thing's gonna do a lot of wheel stands, which I know that's probably what y'all would love, but I'd like to try to keep the front wheels on the ground the best I can. So it looks like we need to cut at least, cut and lengthen at least four inches. The sun's going down and I actually have to run and pick Tobias up from the airport, our Austrian buddy. Uh, so we're going to be done for the day, but this video is going to continue into tomorrow. We're going to get working on this go-kart again. We're with my buddy here, Liam, from school. Um, and Tobias is inside doing some homework. Anyway, what are we doing, Ike? Uh, we're just measuring the length of the go-kart. In comparison with our other go-karts? other go-karts. Because we are going to lengthen this go-kart, and we just didn't want it to look stupid. Funny, yeah. So... Sounds good. Yeah. We are going to lengthen lengthen this go-kart by three inches because we don't want it to be longer than Taylor's go-kart because that one is already pretty long looking. We can get away with three inches, but... You, know. you don't look too thrilled about it. It'll be fine. I guess so. I really, really wanted to get that engine uh, forward of the axle. Three inches is only going to put it right on top of the axle. I mean, we'll just do wheelies. It'll be fine. We are about to cut this frame in half so we can lengthen it. It's always a little bit scary doing this, but it'll be fine. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Tobias. What's up, Tobias? All right, ready? All right, you gotta be careful, man. I, I didn't cut all the way through. Oh, there we go. Oh. Did that not do it? Uh, well, it'll be fine. It's torquing. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen when we hit the gas with this uh, engine. It's gonna go beep. I hope not. <laughs> cool. What are we doing? These. Yep. This will go in here. Oh man. Oh, good idea. Oh yeah. Um, we're gonna drill some holes in the frame so we can have some rosettes. You drill holes in the frame, and then when you put this bar in and join the pipe to it, That's a good idea. then you can. Oh, same thing with this. Then you can weld up those holes and it'll make it stronger. Gotcha. That's very smart. We, we don't want this go-kart folding up on us. No, that would be very bad. Yeah. We got also have to think about adding an extra bar down the center. Oh, shoot. That's right. But we can do that after we get the engine going. And For testing purposes. Yeah. Well, let's grab the drill. It's got to be the dullest, dullest drill bit in the world. Are you going to sharpen it? Yep. Okay, cool. Y'all like to see how to sharpen a drill bit? Let's see how to sharpen the a drill bit. The white trashing in trouble way? Sure. Dull drill bit. 
grinder. Looks so nice, man. It's brand I hope new. So. We'll find out. Yeah. It's probably gonna be sharp for a minute and then go back to being oh, dull. It'll be fine. I hope it'll impress y'all. Oh nice. Sweet. Really? <laughs> well, <laughs> I broke the drill bit. Oh, oh no. Well, let's see where it went. Yep, there it is. Oh, Sorry, man. buddy. Did I ask you not to break the drill bit? Yeah, you did ask me not to break the drill bit. Well, uh, got a plug in on each side. Okay. And uh, we drilled the holes for some, like, I think they're called rosettes. Welds. Well, well, we're welding through the holes to right. the bar that's on the inside. Solid yep. stock on the inside. Yeah. To lengthen the frame. Yep. Ike is now welding the underside. Looks so nice, man. So professional. Yeah, I hear you. That looks terrible. Nah, it'll be fine. We just finished welding the underside along with the uh, tops. So now we're going to grind it down and make it look pretty. What do you think, Tobias? Nice. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. you can tell we added length to it, but who cares? Put the engine back on and see how it fits. Yeah, let's see how it cool. fits. Cool. Just like I said, it puts it right above the axle. We'll set her up how she is now with this space in between here. Okay. And then that'll give us room for chain adjustment. Okay. We're doing all the nice stuff after we paint it, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, so we're just getting it running right now. So Liam had to go home, but Dylan is here now. Dylan also goes to my school and that's his car over there. It's Turbo BRZ. You wanna talk about the build? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ike is being productive. He just cut off the motor mount, or the old motor mount, and we're gonna weld on that new one. And there's a link to the description for that motor mount right there. Well, the plan is uh, putting the engine where it needs to go. And welding that puppy on there. And welding that puppy on there. And uh, then we're gonna have to take the axle off. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're going to have, boy, we got a lot of rust we got to clean up on that thing. We got this uh, engine to fit on the mounting plate. So we're now going to mock up the torque converter <laughs> to uh, see how it's going to fit. Fitment with that oil filter could not be any closer. I don't think you could fit a sheet of paper in between there. This thing looks even meatier with this uh, torque converter on it. Yeah. It looks pretty sweet. Put the new sprocket in there yep and then we'll put the engine to the sprocket so we'll put the sprocket right smack dab in between those two uh frame yeah. bars mm -hmm. and then we'll put the motor and mount in place get everything lined up and we should be good to go well we need to reattach the brake but you know we need to reattach the brake but uh that's looking pretty good yeah we need to clean up the axle so i uh thought up something with a drill. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's great. She got some shine to her now. She got some pits in her too. Yeah. A lot smoother though. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So it'll Look be fine. All the rust on the ground. Dylan is going to do the honors taking that nut off of the axle. These nuts. Hold it on there, boy. Oh yeah, she's close. There you go. That's not good. Oh, what? Then what? It's, what? All the threads are screwed up. Oh wow, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Ooh. Well, we'll manage. I don't think she's gonna want to come out. Good job, boy. I did it. I did it, Mama. <laughs> I don't think that's doing anything. Ain't cool not supposed to happen on cars and cameras. 
What did you have to do to get that, all that stuff off that shaft? Well, I had to put it in a 20 ton press. Uh huh. And uh, the 20 ton press wouldn't do it by itself, so I had to add a little bit of heat. We were able to put these collars and the sprocket and the sprocket hub back on. Uh, we're not gonna put the disc brake on it quite yet. We're just gonna put the drum back on it uh, for testing purposes. Um, and yeah, we're gonna figure out where we need to mount the engine and hopefully have her running. We mounted the wheels and we're about to mount the engine on ya. Of course, there's gonna be a link in the description to uh, that sprocket right there, as well as the hub and uh, the other parts we use, uh, but we just haven't used many of them yet because we're gonna put this engine on for testing purposes. We're gonna ride it around a little bit, then we're gonna take it apart and paint it and put all the nice new parts on it. But that'll be in probably the next video. Hey, nice car. What's the retail on one of these? Uh, More than for four pounds. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we just mounted the torque converter on this engine and it just looks even more massive and cool now. So we are getting pretty close to firing this bad boy up. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let Ike do the, uh, the initial run just because he's put the majority of the work in today. Uh, I think it's only fair. Plus I feel like the reaction will be better than you. You're scared. You think I'm scared? <laughs> Dang it, man, I'm not scared. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> So we ran into a little bit of problems with uh, the chain, so we're having to modify the frame even more. Ike welded the brake back together, kind of sketchily, so it stops. And uh, he also hooked up the throttle cable. So we have brakes and gas. Well, next thing we need to do is actually hook up gas. We need a gas tank in it because it doesn't come with one. So nice. We bolted the engine down. We were able to weld the engine mount in place. We have the sprocket on, we have the torque converter on, we have the chain on, we have oil in it. Uh, Ike is working on cleaning out an old gas tank that we're gonna be mounting up here. We don't have zip ties to keep our fuel line in place. So I'm using, uh, oh, what are these called? Cobber binder. What are they called? Cobber oh, binder. Wire ties. Wire ties, sure. <laughs> and what are they called in German? Cobber binder. Cobber binder. No? Okay. Not cover binda. It looks similar. Oh. Yep, some wire ties like you'd uh, use to keep your bread fresh. It'll be fine for testing purposes. That's what they're for, right? To keep your bread okay, fresh. Yeah. Okay, no. What are they called yeah, in? Yeah. yeah. Cowber Yeah. No, no, that's something different. So for testing purposes, we are going to put the gas tank right here because right underneath there, it gets in the way of both of your feet, whereas right here, it only gets in the way of one. It'll be fine. The fuel line is attached. The gas tank is just about attached. We are not gonna put a seat on it. It'll be fine for testing purposes. All right. We have to urge you to not do what we do. Because uh, what we do is pretty dumb, clearly. So uh, when, you, when you watch our videos, watch them for entertainment purposes only. Right, Tobias? Entertainment only. We are professionals. <laughs> That's right, especially to be us. We are going to plug this puppy up to Ike's truck with jumper cables and uh, hopefully be on our merry way. Ike, I say you should do the uh, the honors because you you put in the majority of the wrench time on this one. Yeah, look at that thing. Anyone who can identify that engine gets ten internet points and a gold star. It goes nothing. <laughs> I think it goes in there. <laughs> It'll be fine. Cranking it. Crank it. Ooh. 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 Well, the choke's on, isn't it? No, it's off. Just put an exhaust right into the into the driver. It's smooth, dude. It come sounds on, pretty sweet. Yeah, come on. She gonna die in a minute here. Come on, fuel. 22 horsepower. 31 foot-pounds of torque, bone stock. We got a massive torque converter, link in the description. Woo, and she's spinning. 670 cc's, folks. All right, man, moment of I truth. Got all in me. It'll be fine. I 
just kind of screwed off to the side. Yeah. <laughs> it did a wheelie! That's why I'm What? Doesn't it need a jet? Jet? Yeah, in the car. There's a dead no, spot in it, that's right? That's the governor. That's not four grand. I know it's not. We gotta fix that. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, that's not 4,000 RPM. Pretty slow, but that's because it's not revving very high. Uh, the governor in it says it revs to 4,000 RPM, but that is not 4,000 RPM. So more RPM equals more top speed. Although he's going all right right now. I am jacking this puppy up because uh, we're going to make the wheels spin in the air. We're going to turn it on while it's in the air and hit the governor just to see how high she will rev. I think we found the secret to this predator. Ike just reached around and hit the governor with his hand and it was like a rocket. Like, dude, do that again, holy cow. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Oh God, here I go. It's so fast! We gotta disconnect this thing, man. Woo! Holy cow. Holy cow. It is so fast. Well, I'm shutting her down. This thing's just too fast for me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are gonna continue working on this. Since we're not gonna be using this muffler for very long, we're just gonna drill some speed holes in the back and then weld a cap onto this side uh, so the exhaust exits out the back and not into our shoulders. Crumpled that exhaust exit. Yes, it looks ugly. I don't care. We're not keeping the muffler. Then we drilled some speed holes in the back and it makes for a pretty cool looking pattern. We have the battery mounted with this nice ratchet strap. We have the battery cables connected on the engine side on the starter and there's our ground. I turned it some. The governor. the governor can you just hop on it and hold the brake so when i crank it up if it decides to run away you can stand on the brake and... yep Ooh. cool i cut it off okay oh. i don't know what you're doing down there that's pretty complicated i down think there. it's gonna take off okay scary uh yeah the brake is smoking oh my gosh dude that was so scary look on your face <laughs> dude i didn't know we need to move that kill switch right here right now <laughs> i'm glad you're still here buddy. yeah I'm, I'm glad you managed to turn that thing off because i would have gone around like that until it ran out of gas oh. well you want to cover up these holes with some leaves, some leaves? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And here you were making fun of Taylor for doing that. And look what we're doing. 
like it never even happened. <laughs> that was utterly terrifying. But for some reason, I just started laughing hysterically, so. I don't know why you hysterically. I think it was because I saw you and you were like, you, you looked so scared and you were running towards me. I'm scared. I don't think I'd catch you. Pure insanity. Absolute, unadulterated insanity. John on it now. Oh my god. <laughs> that thing is so fast. <laughs> I like the little pops and snaps. <laughs> Man, that thing is fast. I don't know what he's going for. Maybe a wheelie. Oh. <laughs> so this is the end of uh, this part of the build. Pretty insane, if you ask me. Um, we have to thank Go Power Sports for supplying uh, all the parts, specifically the massive, insane torque converter. Uh, you guys saw all the wheelies. Uh, it's ridiculous. We also have to thank Cars Amino for supplying the engine. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's an app you can download on your iPhone or Android device. It's completely free. It's a place where you can share your automotive passion with others uh, without any other distractions. Um, go follow Cars and Cameras on Cars Amino. We are posting more detailed information about this build. We're also doing a giveaway at the end of the build of a sticker and a t-shirt uh, to one lucky follower on Cars Amino. We're also doing a poll uh, for a name and the paint of it. So I made a poll. Go vote for your favorite color, what you want us to paint this, and we will do any color you want us to do, even if it's a color we don't necessarily like, but it'll be fine. I like black. I like black too, so go vote for black. Yeah, I'm kind of speechless. It's uh, scary. Um, I hate to be called a wuss, but... This, this one scares the poop out of me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's, I mean, judging by how we've almost died a couple times already, you know. Well, wasn't that bad. Well, once really, and it was only me. <laughs> <laughs> Next video, we're gonna be uh, making this thing very nice, painting it, uh, so Take, vote Taking it apart, you know. yep. cleaning it up, yep. fixing all the little ugly stuff, painting it real nice. Relocating and... the kill switch, or the key, to right there. First thing, yeah, first relocating thing. the uh, so we don't ignition die. switch and stuff. So yes, yes, this is a video to show you what not to do. That's exactly right. Yes, do not <laughs> put a huge engine on a go kart. Do not wheelie around in the yard. Do not mess with the governor. <laughs> do not mess with the governor. That yeah. is number one on the list. Yeah, I'm glad that we're both here to. Uh, do this conclusion. Yeah. Fourth video is going to be kind of a reveal and test riding and doing a top speed run and uh, maybe even a dyno run. And then fifth video, we're gonna be modifying it, modifying the governor, exhaust, intake, carburetor, jet, and then maybe another dyno run and uh, you know maybe some kind of drag race between this and- uh, Another vehicle. Yeah, another vehicle. Maybe my go-kart to begin with, but maybe that truck or something or a Corvette if it feels fast enough. I don't know. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and Cars Amino at Cars and Cameras. Stay tuned, everybody. This is a, definitely an exciting build. Also, Tobias is going back to Austria in like two weeks. So it's been an honor, my friend. Yeah, it's been an honor. Yes. Thank you for having me, and I will definitely come back again. You should. Yep. Oh, definitely. And uh, Thanks, buddy. and uh, you gotta you gotta get a go kart in Austria, man. <laughs>